Welcome to our mini lesson about the London Blitz. We first start with a question. Who was involved in this major World War II event? The German Air Force, Luftwaffe, and the British Air Force, also known as the Royal Air Force, were involved in this attack. The people leading these forces were Hitler for the Germans and Winston Churchill for the British. Sadly, the citizens of London were also dragged into this tragic event. What happened during the London Blitz? Well, the German Air Force was bombing England. This bombing wasn't a one-day act played. It lasted months. All the, of the bombing was centered around London. Everyone was terrified and began to send their children out to the countryside to live with strangers for their safety. A large portion of the city, city were destroyed in the process like the two houses shown below. When did this saddening event happen? This attack was very long and painful. It lasts about 8 months, exactly 267 days. The Germans continually bombed London for 57 days straight. This long beret buried destroyed many lives and made hundreds of people seek shelter in underground train rails. The attack started on September 7, 1940 and ended on May 21, 1941. Now, where in England exactly did this take place? Well, the Germans had their forces strategically bomb London and 15 smaller cities around London. As you can see, the image here shows how the bombing covered a very large area, not just within the city, but it also formed a ring around the whole area. It trapped the whole city within its own sphere of damage. You also must think of why. Why would the Germans start such a dangerous and deadly mission? Germany had two main reasons for beginning this. First off, they wanted to hurt the British morale, which slightly worked, but not to the full extent that they wished. Germany also wished, wanted to hurt the British economy, which wasn't uh, accomplished either. How did the Germans do this? Well. 110 tons of explosives used by the Luftwaffe, a German air force, were based in two main groups, the parachute mines and the highly explosive bombs. The British finally related to, retaliated by having the Royal Air Force drop bombs on Berlin. That was enough for Germany to finally give in, and the Blitz ended after all that time. The story of the London Blitz is over, and the children of London could finally return home.